This is a one minute journal club-ish. This is not medical advice, do not trust me. Read the article for yourself by clicking the link. It's free to download. Hat tip to these three authors, but in particular, Xavier Monet and Jean-Louis Taboul as their legends in this space. This paper was published on May 25th of this year. First of all, we do not want to drown our patients. Assessing for fluid responsiveness is just good medicine. How do we go about it though? Here are some strategies. I will create videos like this one on each one of these as time permits. Number one, passive leg raising. Number two, end expiratory occlusion testing. Number three, pulse pressure variation and stroke volume variation. Number four, a tidal volume challenge. Number five, IDC measurements, but I have to say I'm not a huge fan of this. Number six, a mini fluid challenge with 100 or 150 cc's. The most important part of this article is where the authors admit limitations to all this. There's no perfect way to assess for fluid responsiveness and manage fluid status in patients. We are still figuring this out.